Caribbean. Hello, it's Bricktopian here, and today I will be taking a look at another mock that I am working on. This mock is for classic space of a theme, and I have done it so that it actually is compatible with modular buildings. As crazy as that sounds, I feel like it could kind of work when it's finished, and I think I've made a good start on it. It's supposed to be really thin because I want it to be like a tower that goes up into a point into like a satellite or something. To really capture that classic space vibe and obviously here i've got it on its own and i think it looks all right even as a standalone build and if you placed it next to a spaceship or something i think it could still be all right but i kind of wanted it to have the vibe that it can fit with buildings as well like it could just be like a space station that's in the middle of a city that someone like visits and you can like check on like space activity while you're in the city or whatever so that's why i made it so it can fit with modulars as well as you'll notice it has water at the bottom because that's because i want it compatible with ninjago stuff because i felt like it fits better with ninjago modulars than it does to create your expert ones and it does line up nicely you'll notice that it's extremely thin but that's because that's the vibe i was going for and i thought it looked better as a nice tower if it's thin and it would fit the classic space vibe better but it is actually on base plates and the reason it's on base plates is because these are eight stud wide base plates they're the older style base plates they're the lego don't really do much now which is a real shame i think they should but there's two of them stacked behind each other so it's still the depth of a modular 32 but it's only eight studs wide and i've put this platform here so they all line up with the ninjago platform that's raised up because they have a second floor platform and I've used these nice supports here and I've put one each side of the door which is in here so that it's nice and like secure I do need to make this slightly taller actually but this is just my first like stage of making this building so the height won't be exact and I'm just basically trying to get a rough idea of what sort of thing I'm trying to do at this point but yeah, I've tiled the base plate, I've put the water there, I've put some sidewalk that actually lines up with Ninjago as well. I've uh, tested out like different ways of doing it, and at the moment I've just used loads of these grey panels that I've got, because I've got lots of them. But it does look extremely plain, so I probably will change those and give them like windows or decorational elements. Although I obviously can't have too much that sticks out, because these pins have got to line up with buildings. But um... I still, I like the way that I've got the part of the f floor though, sorry, is blue, but only, but the rest of it is grey. I actually like that idea. I didn't, I didn't do it that way because, I did that way because I didn't have enough bricks at the time. But I actually quite like it that the whole floor isn't just one colour, and I think it is quite good like this. Um, I've used the, I've started on the, trying to facade for the top floor as well. Well, they're not the top floor because I'll probably do more floors, but for this second floor, and I've actually used these nice, blue window frames that are used in the ga new Galaxy Explorer icon set they used and you can buy these in bricks pieces now and you can even buy the trans yellow windows that fit in them so I've actually done that and I think it's really cool to stack three of them on top of each other like that but I have to put them inset by one brick because they have gaps at the side otherwise if you don't cover them so I've done that and it's sort of just a nice little trial at this and I've just put a like prison door on there for now just because I like the texture of the bars and it sort of fits that vibe again of like everything's sort of metallic and rust rusty and just like sort of futury with all the metal and everything just like for classic space but I'll probably change this but you know and I've got a slope roof that comes down and it slopes back out this way and I've got little red one by one studs on there and stuff and but this is just, yeah, this is just trial and error, and this is just starting off the mock, really. I'm just seeing what I can come up with. And then basically I've just tested out what it looked like at the back as well, by putting water here, a little step that's curved on a curved plate there, and there's a door at the back so you can get in the back in case you come around the back of stuff. And then I've brick built some a ladder there using them um, modified plates that have handles on, and I've just stacked them with bricks in between. And then I've also got this nice um, 3 by 4 window here, and I've in with a blue frame, and I've actually put a trans yellow piece in there. I don't think they make this piece anymore, this yellow, but I managed to get hold of one, so I'm pretty happy with that. And it's a good start, I think, to what I've done. I've just stuck a little bit of water splushing out. I might get rid of that, I don't know yet. 
But yeah, it's roughly just a rough look at this and I want to see what I come up with moving forward. But this is just my first attempt of doing it with just basically loads of random bits in blue and grey and just sticking stuff together and trying to make it fit with that size and scale of a modular building. I know it seems strange at the moment to have it as a modular when it's classic space, but I've always kind of part of me has wanted to go a bit out there and a bit crazy with trying to mix Lego themes. And I quite like the idea of having classic space do a crossover with modulars, just like I like just like I did a classic space uh, mock car that I tried to make inspired by speed champions. So now I'm trying to get a classic space sign that's inspired by modulars. And Ninja Go, which is, seems bizarre, but that is half the fun of this, is it's supposed to be a bit bizarre. So, yeah, anyway, that's just my thoughts at the moment. I'd like to see what I do moving forward, but, yeah, it's going to stay this width, but it's going to get taller, and it's going to have, like, a probably a dish on the top or something. But, yeah, I just try to, I just want to make something that's a bit different, and something that Lego won't necessarily do themselves, that's what I like about doing mocks is it's good to make stuff that Lego won't do so you get the opportunity to actually experience what you want without having to rely on Lego to release a set. So yeah, anyway, there's my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at this initial practice of this mock and I hope you watch more videos. Feel free to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching again. Goodbye.